Greetings. Hello. I am Yitai Kodorin of the oh. Kriad people. Oh, welcome Yitai Kodorin from the Kriad people. I'm Max. Greetings. We have just had meetings with some of your leaders recently. Excellent. And discovered that there is much fear among them with introducing alien outside interference. We wish them no harm, but they seem to have unsubstantiated fears. We have done nothing to harm anyone on your planet, yet th the word invasion and attack reoccur a lot in their talking to us. We wish them to know that this has nothing to do with our communications with them. We only wish to integrate our thought processes together to become a working unit outside of your planet and not within it. We would like you to join the Galactic Federation or the government outside of your government, the exopolitical stage. But that seems frightening to them, except for your secret space programs are already involved with that particular organization. We want you to know that our efforts will be doubled down and we will return to speak to other countries next time. We usually only speak to a few countries at a time so that it is less cumbersome and better for mutual understanding. Usually we would try to get those countries that would agree to communicate their status on first contact to us. And if they do not wish to speak to us, we will overlook them until a further date. But eventually we would like to speak to all. Uh, which countries did you speak to now? England, Australia, and China. I see. I, uh, I know Belgium was pretty open. Canada was pretty open. They are not a concern to us. We are concerned about the ones that are not open. We will include those that are open to those kinds of interactions, but it is not a necessity at the moment since they are already leaning toward acceptance. Also, I think Spanish-speaking countries are way more open, and Arabic countries, I think, uh, I heard that they're open too. There are some that are, and others refuse to even speak to us. Um, they possibly refuse because they are uh, dependent on others, but culturally, I heard that the Arabs have, uh, have uh, belief in aliens from, from Quran, so maybe uh, they would be, at least uh, spiritually, they would be very open. If they have a belief from a religious source, usually they have a great expectation on what to, they, what to hear and what they want to hear. We may not be able to deliver the quite exactly what they are looking for. However, we hope that we can be close enough to gain acceptance with them. There are those that have listened very shortly to what we had to say and then fallen away and said they do not have time for this kind of interaction. And they even doubted that we were from anywhere but another place on your planet. We look very human except for the green color. 
that's nice. I mean, we like when somebody looks human. It's much easier to communicate. What but dimension? We, are, we have a strong green tone. What what dimension are you from? We are from the fourth dimension. I see. Um, I so think that is what we understand is the fourth dimension, according to those that we have been in contact with. Some call it the fifth dimension. Others okay. call it something different. We will go but, with uh, the understanding that after three comes four. Okay. So um, one of the ideas is to uh, maybe you want to speak to the people who are really in charge, and these are the bankers and the uh, secret services, secret uh, government protection services. Like Mossad, I think, is pretty strong. CIA is strong. Uh, M uh, something five uh, in, in, in Britain. Uh, those, those kind of uh, French are pretty strong. Russian are pretty strong. Maybe, and they talk to each other. So maybe they are the ones to talk to. If because they're in charge, get, actually. If we can get their attention, uh -huh. Some areas of your population that have great quantities beneath them are hard to get a hold of and keep their interests because they are more interested in uh, financial rather than exopolitical operations. Even though we could probably help them at some point later with their expenses and money situations. We cannot do that at this time. So therefore, they are not interested in speaking to us immediately. Right, right. So financial ones, you can offer them some business opportunities. That is a possibility for the future. And for the security ones, you can uh, possibly can uh, help them with their jobs. Yeah. If you, if you cannot give them the, the uh, technologies, you possibly can trade information, especially if the information uh, is uh, of critical value. So if there is a, uh, something negative going to happen and you can give them some um, information, then that would spike their interest. I see. We will give that consideration. Right. Can you tell a little bit about your... Um, who you represent? We are Kiliad. We are from Alpha Century One, which is another name for Alpha Centauri. Uh huh. We have a wonderful population and are advanced beings. We are trying for a Kiliad and interhuman species interactions. There are certain humans that are important to this project and certain ones of our people as well. We are much like you in many ways. We look very human except for the strong green contrast. And we have many of your uh, kinds of beginnings and we do want to interact i'm not sure what information you want yes to yes i can ask questions yes uh, invite questions and uh, i have plenty so um what percentage of your genome is similar to ours it's 93 percent excellent um are you our ancestors in any way we are still studying that fact. It would appear that we had some kind of interaction with people that interacted with you. Yeah, genetically, it's very easy to tell at which point we had uh, relations. Like, we have the programs and we're mostly looking at all the repeats. They have the trace and you can date uh, when we were uh, Either and if uh, we intersected, maybe genetically, it could be that we have common ancestors of things sort of that sort. Our so early, I'll, go ahead. Our early space program was kept a secret from the population, especially when it was able to reach out to other places. 
So there is some question when we did interact with the planet called Earth, the population or the interaction with your species as far as genetically could have been later than that due to uh, interactions that came uh, indirectly through that space program as well at a later time. It can be pretty well dated using genetic analysis. We can date it up to a few thousand years, so it's pretty easy to, to, to date. Our next question is, um, do you have families? We do. How many genders do you get? We have two genders, male and female, like yourself. Uh, do you have like uh, children growing up at home and then going to school? What is your structure? Depending on what part of the world of this Alpha Century One area that you live in, you could have a somewhat school-like environment. However, remember this. We have advanced in the way that people learn here, and there will be all ages mixed together learning one subject. It is not separated by age, but by aptitude. Um, what is your planet, uh, home planet? Uh, does it have a number? Alpha Century One. Ah. And how big is your population? 17 billion. Ah. Nice. Um, so what's your political structure? We have a, we used to have a similar structure to your own, but now it is more group oriented and one person cannot take charge. They can take okay. the floor for conversations, but there is no single um, person in charge of area groupings. It's at least a council of three to five. So, I, I mean, compared to ours, is it more hierarchical, more organized, or is it more distributed and tribal? Not tribal. It is hierarchical, however, in a very inclusive way to the people. Um, do you have money? There is money, but it is used only for certain situations. Many things are done by trade, by skill, by aptitude, artistic talent, and inter-trading. Yeah, how much is um, computer intelligence involved in the distribution of wealth? 40%. Uh-huh. So sometimes it's the com computer systems that decide uh, who gets what, right? Yes. It is more fair when there is no emotion involved. So your computers don't have emotions? They can when that switch is turned on. If mm -hmm. it is necessary for emotions to be part of the evaluation, then that is what we can do. If emotions are not necessary, if it's only intellectual and situational, then that part can be switched off. Okay. Yeah, because I think emotions uh, have a lot of basis in uh, uh, higher dimensions. So uh, I would, it would make a lot of sense for the computers to be plugged into that layer of reality as well. Well, we usually are interactive with the computers during decision making. We uh -huh. have, they are 50% of the vote in uh -huh. most cases, unless it is a black and white situation where we give them 60%. I see, I see. Uh, so are you involved in a hybridization program with the Earth? Not at this time. It has been considered, but it is impractical for us to do so until we have some made some inroads with your governments or your peoples. So, um, 
in our uh, Hukala community, there are people who will, uh, who would like to donate uh, our DNA to uh, hybridization programs, and I'm one of them. So I offer my DNA. If you would like to borrow my DNA, you're welcome, and uh, to start some of the hybridization. Your DNA is considered very valuable at this time, not okay. for hybridization purposes, but for serum purposes. It can okay. be used for healing of many different species, and it is quite brings quite a high price. I also uh, invite you to uh, start the, the human colony program. So uh, have our uh, volunteers to visit your places. Once it is practical, this is something that we intend to do. Right now, we are instituting or beginning, I should say, a, a interactive program with other humans um, that would have personal value to us. Excellent. Um, I also invite, uh, I don't think you can do it officially, but your volunteers are invited to broadcast to our YouTube and Facebook. So that would be of great help. And you don't have to be of green color. You can easily change your color and broadcast as humans. And that would be a great help for, for us. Some video blogging would help. There is someone trying to contact you. No, it's uh, it's Jim. It's Jim. Someone is trying to contact Jim, but we can wait. It's almost done. Just a second. Okay. So um, the next question was about the wars. How much are you involved in military activities? Military is unnecessary at this time. However, there is a military force here for and for stopping anyone that might think of attacking. <coughs> it would right. be defensive and offensive. However, right now it is on standby, but they always do their drills, as you would call them. Uh, how much uh, of the alien visitors do you have in your world? There are six other species that visit our world. How do you regulate the visits? Regulation of spe species coming into our world is done through the government. They have written up rules and regulations and we have to check their identification and their authorization papers. These cannot be duplicated. They are sent directly from the planet to our computers, and then we check that against the paperwork that they carry. It must have the same uh, file information and secret uh, serial numbers so that nothing can be duplicated. Sure. So uh, it's limited. So how on the, on the surface, on the streets, or uh, on the surface, how many of the foreigners do you have, percent-wise? Only about 8%. Okay. okay. Do you have slavery? No. Uh -huh. Actually, the only slavery that is acceptable is of cybernetic source. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How much of hybridization do you do on your planet? With other species? Uh -huh. It is usually forbidden by other worlds to do yeah. interactive hybridization. And only two of the species that come to our world can actually breed with our people. Wow. So who, is prohibit, who, who does prohibit hybridization? That is confidential. I mean, is it your world who prohibits it, or is it other worlds that prohibit it? It is other worlds that prohibit it. We have now just become open to it within the last 32 Earth years. Because we talk about hybridization a lot, and a lot of countries, a lot of races hybridized with humans in the past and continue that. So 
I didn't realize it could be prohibited. Uh, how widely is it prohibition spread? There are some cultures that wish pure to be remain pure. Uh -huh. And so that is rather common in some areas of space. Other areas wish for hybridization programs to develop higher functioning species or to investigate what hybridization is all about. But it uh -huh. has been experimented with, I'm sure, on almost every planet. My higher self is Alpha Centurion, and uh, I wonder if you know him. What is his name? Um, at the moment, they, they blocked it, so I cannot say. If you remember, we can check it. Right. I cannot say it's blocked. I cannot announce it. It's, it's a, we are, we are recording for the publication, so they don't want it published. Obviously, then, we will speak to you in private about this situation. Okay. Um, now, what's uh, your uh, religious uh, overlap with, with, uh, with, the, with the humans? Uh, do you have any common religious uh, beliefs or saints or prophets? We have many different beliefs here. Spirituality is abundant on our planet. We believe about 80% believe in a god-like creature, and most believe in a one god foundation. There are those that do not believe in one god, but many, and those are they that find that there are many souls and spirits that come from many places. This is about the other 15%. And there's 5% that does not believe in anything at all. Um, which of the human uh, religions would be closest to you? Well, since we have so many, there are like three of your religions that are similar to ours. Mohammedism, Buddhism, and what is the other? Judaism. Uh -huh. um, which of the human races are closest to your looks? If we exclude the color, I'm talking about the shape of the face and the body. We believe the English or the United States or Australians uh -huh. look a lot like us. Uh -huh. um, so can you naturally hybridize with humans, like without without the, the use of technology? Yes. Procreate, procreate. Yeah, so you can. Uh, so if someone uh, visits your world, they can be married, right? Yes. What are the rules if you have uh, if a person has a relative on your world? Are they entitled to to relocate? To what? To migrate. If uh, say suppose I uh, I married your. Uh, citizen, would they be allowed to migrate to your planet? Eventually, all these things will be able to be done once the rules are in place between worlds. Uh-huh. But for other planets, do you have that? Yes. So, yeah. if Pleiadians, if Pleiadians there, is one, there is one species that come to this planet from other places that are allowed to uh, mingle and interbreed with our people. Which one is that? That is confidential. Huh. But I can tell you that because of this, there are other rules and regulations for that species. They uh -huh. state their intentions, and if they do meet someone that they are interested in, it must be reported to what you would call an embassy. Uh huh. So, um, what are your punishments? Do you have police and stuff like that? 
We do. Uh huh. Yes. Tell, tell me more. Our police are there to bring peace to all situations, but we have little use for them in some areas where there are higher dimensional thought processes mm -hmm. or the meditational areas. Mm -hmm. But there is still need for some domestic and political disputes. Right, so what do you do with dissidents if they don't like the system? They are separated from the system and put into confinement as your people are done. However, we rehabilitate them to understand why their actions were inappropriate. So do you have like enforced uh, rehabilitation program? Yes, but there are find, we find that most people that break the law have some kind of social problems and they need mental evaluation. So what do you do? Uh, is it, uh, do you fix their, their minds? We work with them so that they may understand what is appropriate. If they cannot understand what pre uh, is appropriate, then we use some forms of drugs to help establish the correct behavior. Uh huh. And, and uh, technology and waves? Technology can be used in these situations because brain waves and different brain activities can be suitably modified and aligned. Uh huh. So, how many people are uh, uh, get in trouble? Uh, what percentage of people gets in trouble every year? One point four percent. Uh huh. And how fast do they re rehabilitate? It depends on the individual, but within six to eight months, they are back on the streets. Uh huh. And uh, that's in a well, human calculation. Right. How often do you have to do a complete reset, like wipe up, wipe wipe out the memory and put the new one in? A very one out of three thousand eight hundred. I see. And partial reset? One out of 1,420. Uh -huh, I see. Uh -huh. um, how much unity is on your planet? Uh, say, do you have like competing parties or something like that? What is that? Competing parties. Do you have competing political parties or anything of that sort? There are comp competitions for those that would want to be in council uh -huh. to give them a chance to speak their mind to the people. There are three debates, as you call them, with mm -hmm. others that are running for the same position. And three to five are elected out of the 10 that will run. Okay, got it. So, uh, do, you have, do you use like voting, voting system? We do. It is similar to yours, except that it is much more efficient. Uh-huh. Yeah, we find that voting makes uh, pretty big decisions. Like, uh, lots of people are unqualified to, to vote, so they choose uh, populist. Is it the same problem on your planet? All those that register for voting privileges uh, are evaluated and given permission after evaluation is approved. Oh, I see. So how often are the voting happening? It depends. There are some portions of the planet that prefer 
a six year, that would be your time. We're talking in your years. Six year periods for uh, them to be in office. Others prefer longer, 10 years. They feel that anything shorter does not give one enough time to establish proper relations or understandings of all the things that need to be taken care of. How about referendums? Do you do them often? Yes. How often? Once a year, referendums are brought forth. I see. Uh, remind me the name of your species. Kiliad. Kiliad, thank you. Yeah, you know, our minds are, are not, uh, many of our minds are not able to remember stuff. There is too much noise around, uh, informational noise. Okay, Kiliad, thank you. Um, so in the conclusion, I would like a um, couple of things. First, I want to apply for a visit to your ships and planets. Uh, so this is my official application I would like to visit. Um, and I offer my help if you want to contact me down here, I, welcome, I would welcome that. I will see if anyone takes up bidding for your association. Thank you. Uh, next, um, I would li like to invite your, a sample of your language. Maybe you can give us a blessing or a sample of your poetry or, or, uh, song, or a song. Which of these things would you want? A song would be most interesting. A song? Yeah. Music is, yes, important to our species. There are many different kinds and segments of musical interests. Is there a particular musical kind that you are interested in? Um. Something that Jim can can reproduce. Jim being the channel. Yeah. One moment, I will see what frequency he vibrates at. One moment, please. Yeah, what a. Yeah, yeah, yo, honey, honey, honey. Yeah, what a, yeah, uni, uni, uni. Alia, uni, 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 ah, uni, uni, uni. Yeah, yeah, are uni, no, 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 no. Thank you. It sounds familiar. Did they have an incarnation in your world, by any chance? There is a possibility. Mm -hmm. but many worlds' musics have been shared. I see. And with that being said, there are similarities all over the universe. Right. All right. Um, with that, I would like to close. Unless you have any other messages, you're welcome to give a message, and then I would like okay. to invite the next speaker. Only that we want an open relationship with your planet. An open relationship is something that is very difficult to establish. But we are truthful and honest people. And we do want to establish that with you. We also want you to know there are many good species out here. And that they are willing and able to help you in many ways. There are some species that believe that you will destroy yourselves within the next 20 years. We happen to believe in the universal prophecies that you will survive. Thank you. That is all I have to say. Yeah, if there is a Pentium or, or Grindel around, I would like to invite them for a short consultation. Pentium is available. Oh, thank you. Check it out. We will go for now. Thank you much.
can you come come again it was a pleasure to speak to you thank you much for the conversation this is yitai out good day Greetings, this is Pentim. Hey Pentim, welcome, thank you for coming. It is a pleasure, it's been a long time. Um, I just wanted to ask one question. Uh, uh, what would you say about this proposition by the Alpha Centurions, uh, the species which we just spoke? They have just recently been interactive with a lot of species. Uh -huh. it's been, uh, they've only been interactive with other species for about 30 years. Okay. So it is, they are rather new to all that is going on. However, they've caught up quickly, and they seem to be a very interesting, a very uh, passionate species when uh -huh. it comes to uh, their beliefs. They are very passionately uh, involved in wanting to become uh, intimate with a lot of different species. And um, this is something that is uh, very different about them. They're very open and honest, and they do not fear the consequences of that. Thank you. Um, so if you, if you don't mind, I'll just pass my... Uh... I guess, uh, how do I say, uh, it would be interesting if Georg Fittnier would consider uh, consider uh, collaborating with them. That's, that's all. Well, Georg Fittnier is um, very much interested in them because they are, uh, they are so freely uh, honest about many things. They do not function the same way as an alliance, they do not fit into the alliance yet, but they will eventually understand how to fit into an alliance. Um, I think that they're a little bit um, overzealous at uh -huh. some points, and so uh -huh. we're working on some moderation with them, and um, we are interested in them. They are a really, actually, very fine people. Uh, one of the advantages of them uh, in Earth, on Earth project is that they are they look very similar. So if they just paint their skin, they would be indistinguishable from us. So that's a great advantage. It's nice to have aliens that look like us. Well, they do have very human features, except for the green. Um, it's the green is quite uh, off-putting at times. Some of them are very green, and others are lighter green, but um, it is a it is noticeable. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can paint, right? You can do makeup. Uh, they can do makeup, yes, but sure. putting on white face might not be socially acceptable. What do you mean? Like they can do human makeup. Ah, uh, yes, I think that they would uh, look good as humans. To right. some extent. Uh, and right. they look good as you yell as well. So right. we do have much of the same human kind of features, except for the shape of our heads. Now, yeah. their yeah, heads uh -huh. are a little different shaped also. Uh -huh. not, not that much different than human heads, really. They're slightly larger, mm -hmm. but uh, that's it. Yeah, they can look good on... Uh Costume party parties. They would look amazing at costume parties. Yeah. Yes. But really, like, they can paint their skin and just show up on the streets. That would be fun. Yes, now, actually, most of them probably could. There yeah. are some that have a few alien-looking features. Most of them have most uh, mostly human-looking features, but there are a few... Uh, that have some alien looking features as you might expect from a different part of their planet, etc. But mm -hmm. um, 
such as the, the, there's one portion of their species that has a curved lip, which means only one side of their mouth hangs down uh, very far. And those are from a, a large area from the other side of the planet. And it's such a noticeable curve in their lip that you would, you would definitely notice that. A Mephistophel smile. It would be down, actually. It looks, it's a down curve. I said Mephistophel smile. Yes. It would be yeah. hard to smile. When they smile, this side comes up and that side stays down. So it is interesting look. Uh, Mephistophel is uh, the, the one from uh, Dante, I think. Uh, that's uh, the Saturn smile. Oh, is that? Right. I have not read that, so I do not. Okay. All right. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I think um, I, it would be great if they could start blogging, video blogging. That would be nice because, uh, you know, they can pass to us humans and that would be a great help. So I would really hope they can pick up on that. Oh, um, I suggest that to them. Yeah, I did. So okay. um, that's all I had for now. Unless you have any news, uh, I would invite the next speaker. The next speaker. All right. No, I have no extra news, except that the colonies go up and down. One, one week, they'll have a lot of requests, and the next week, um, not as many. It, it, it's very strange. I think it goes by how the Earth energies are interacting with people. Okay. And the ascension, ascension symptoms are very acute at this time. So um, there are those that want to come and there are those that when we go to pick them up, they just are not feeling well. So anyway, we wish yeah. you all the best and are sending our love and prayers. Thank you much. So I would like to invite Akhenaten or Isis. One we have, minute, enough, we have uh, 20 minutes left. Let me see who is there. Thank you. Greetings, though. It's good to see you. Nice to talk to you. Much love. Much love.